So, you wanna play one of these guys and one of these puppies on your Linux because yes, as you might probably know, there are games on Linux and I'm running Linux Mint right now as you see right here. Well, if you wanna play games, for example, you have your Valve, let's say, right here, Steam, whatever you wanna call it now. You go here, you can install Steam and you can have all your games here but let's say you want to play those games with this controller well you're in the lucky day because it is absolutely not just possible but almost too easy to even make sense for some might say and let's do just that let me get rid of this one because i don't have any games installed in this one and as you guys know i'm not the biggest gamer you ever seen but i'll give it a shot here we go this is just a regular mini usb that you would he see right here yeah it's dirty and nasty and all that but look what happens let me just plug it one side on the computer and as you see whether you plug in this one or that one looks like this one was completely dead the battery so i'll have to recharge it this is the controller we're gonna do right now and uh, let's go here we got this notification right i'm gonna click always accept as you see right now we accepted it and if you go to your bluetooth as you see right here you have sony playstation 3 controller plugged in now let me just unplug it right here and i'm gonna click the playstation uh, button right here and it is connected that is absolutely all it took to connect and you are ready to go and play your absolute favorite games whether it's in steam or a game that you would sideload if you find a way around that or for example if i could ever charge this one would be great but of course, now that I want to show you on the video, this will not be charged. <laughs> this is just beautiful. Okay, it came in, looks like. Always accept. And the second one is accepted too. Let me unplug it. Let me click the uh, PlayStation button right here too. And it is connected. And as you see, this one went automatically on number two. And this will be our number one. So you have now multiplayer. Now let me go ahead, pull another one, which is quite a messed up one. I'm not sure if this will even work, but we'll give it a shot. Give it a second to power on. And the lights are blinking. And we will accept, always accept. And we have a third controller connected. Let me disconnect here if it has any battery left on it. Probably not, but I'll try it. Who cares, right? Uh, it doesn't seem to have any battery left on it, so I'll have to leave it charging. But as soon as it comes back with a battery, this will go automatically on line, uh, light number three. And you can have up to four or five players, whatever. You can try. I'm going to leave it charging there because, unfortunately, it has not been charged. And that is just how you use PlayStation 3 controllers on Linux. And yes, this is a Linux Mint. It's working absolutely flawless and beautiful. And soon probably I will install some games and test it with a PlayStation 3 controllers, which I know they work. That is a fact, number one. And number two, and as you see right there on the screen right there, you have them both. And when I touch anything, as you see those lights, are indicators of data being transferred via Bluetooth. We touch the other one. Boom. As you see, the data is still moving. This one is still charging. For some reason, it just does not have any juice left on it. Nope. It's still dead, dead, dead. But it would be great whenever it comes back to life to actually connect it. And with that said, I will see you next time. Let me know if you want to know anything else regarding Linux and its workarounds. And subscribe if you don't mind. Bye!